I'd like to welcome everybody to the uh, 2010 uh, Crook Farm Country Fair. Uh, this, uh, we've had great weather this weekend. Um, the, the, the purpose of the fair and the theme of the fair this year is to bring together the, the old era and the new era. Um, as, as you go about the, uh, the grounds, you'll see a, a mix of old era and new era crafts. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to, to, to go through the grounds, the schoolhouse, the, the bank building, the, the farmhouse, and, and the, uh, the barn, uh, the, the blacksmith shop. The, the blacksmiths are working this morning. Uh, along with the Weavers and the Weavers Guild, uh, it, it's an opportunity for you know everyone in the, uh, the, the what we call the uh, the Tuna Valley uh, to come together and, and experience um, some of the old and, and new era activities. Um, you know, one of our most significant programs is the uh, is the school program, and I'll let uh, one of our school moms uh, speak to that. I am the coordinator of the school program, and I'm also one of our board members for the Landmark Society. We have students who come all over from the southern part of New York State and are around the Bradford area. This year we had 905 students between the second week in May and the end of the first week in June. And what we do is we have a day here at Crook Farm. Uh, half the day they spend in our one-room schoolhouse where they learn uh, casting out nines, they do reading groups, and they do writing with pen and ink. And then the other half of the day they come down on the farm and we do five stations with our students. They go into the house and they learn about a little bit about the family in the house and how they lived. They go to the summer kitchen next, which is connected to our house. And in the summer kitchen, they get to iron with the old fashioned irons and, and learn about how the people lived back in those days. From there, they go to the uh, carpenter shop where they get to work with some of the antique tools and into the barn and get to meet Smokey, our horse, and Oreo, our cow. Uh, they also get to see some of the antique uh, tools that we have in the barn and get to work with some of those. From there they go to the weaving shop where they actually get to work with wool. They cart wool, they wash the wool, they uh, do some weaving of rugs using rags to help make the rug. And then from there they go to the candle shop where they get to dip their dip candles. Unfortunately they don't get to take home the candle they dipped but they get to take home a candle that another student has dipped earlier in the season. So that's what we do. For the last, uh, I don't know, five or so years, I've been doing, you know, booking the groups and getting, getting the music together. So this year we're trying something a little bit new. This is really a community event, so what we're trying to do is involve the musicians in the community to come in and donate their time just like everybody else in the community donates their time. We've got very good camping back here and we're hoping to get people in on Friday night and just uh, set camp up. What we're hoping to create here is uh, an environment where musicians come like Alan Hopkins. He did a Erie Canal uh, songs workshop. Tighten up your lines. Watch the playful horse flies as on the mules they climb. Whoa, back, duck your nut, forget it, I never shall. I met Green to sailor on the Erie Canal. These are participatory workshops. We're trying to get people involved. It's more fun to do it than it is to watch it. The jam tent's really an important part of the musical experience. And what we're doing there is uh, trying to encourage kids to learn the music. They, everybody's invited to the jam tent. We're hoping to involve new musicians in the music. Todd Crowley, he uh, carries around these uh, dulcimers and auto harps and instruments and he's just inviting anybody, kids of all ages, to come and pet the instruments, I guess. Uh, just pick them up and strum on an auto harp and uh, he's encouraging participation that way. Musicians get in free, so uh, we're hoping that uh, with the free camping, uh, free admission, that musicians will just want to come and enjoy the experience and be here for the weekend, and then we'll go back to 
the jamming area and scrape up musicians for the main stage. Well, the fair is our main source of income. And it's through the volunteers and people donating stuff and visiting and, and supporting the vendors that we make our money. We have 63 vendors this year. Last year we were at 30, so we're really excited that we almost more than doubled it. I'm a vendor myself. I just am really excited that they were able to merge the two, commercial and the handcrafted, because it's bringing back a lot of interest for the people. And by bringing the numbers, it actually brought more people and some of the old crafters back. I want to address the reason that we need a landmark society. Over every year we lose another historic building and this one is uh, from the 1840s, probably one of the oldest ones uh, around here. And we need to remember our roots and how we used to live without all of our uh, modern you know, gadgets and things that life was much simpler and much harder. Now, when you look at the rich heritage of the, the Tuna Valley and, and you know, this, this farm, uh, you know, all the uh, various historical uh, uh, markers in Bradford, um, it's, it's, it's a valley that's, that's rich in, in history and, and, you know, the community coming together. If you look around the grounds today, um, and all the service organizations and the non-for-profits that are, that are here working, uh, preparing the food, serving the food. Uh, you've, you've got all the, uh, uh, the volunteers from the Landmark Society and, and the committees that are working. Um, with, with that volunteerism, um, you know, comes that, that certain amount of pride in, in what the uh, community is trying to, uh, uh, you know, recognize here. And, and Ann spoke to it from a historical standpoint, and um, from from my part, I, you know, I, I'd like to thank uh, all of those that have uh, participated uh, over the years and and will continue to participate in the years to come. Um, and everybody uh, enjoy the weekend and uh, uh, come down and see us again next year.